Today's topic is going to be about the MP3000 IEC series, Networking Modifications. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. Here's a quick preview. The MP3000 IEC series controllers have up to 16 Ethernet IP instances available for use as an adapter and can control up to 100 Ethernet IP adapters. 512 coils and inputs are available over Modbus TCP along with up to 10,000 bytes of holding register memory using the %m memory location. Data transmission is fully configurable for any type of device thanks to the Endian conversion functions. Now let's look at this in a little more detail. For my examples, I will be using Motionworks IEC version 3.7. Let's start with a quick overview of the Ethernet IP protocol. Ethernet IP is a protocol that uses instances to communicate between scanner, otherwise known as a master, and adapter, otherwise known as a slave, devices. The MPIC controllers can either be set up as an adapter device, being controlled upstream by a PLC, or as a scanner device, which would control remote I.O. or other adapter devices. They can also be both the scanner and the adapted device at the same time. In Motionworks IC hardware configuration, we can see the instances that can be used when the MPIC controller is set up as an adapter. The MP3000 IC series controllers have 16 input and output instances. 10 of these input and output instances can be as large as 496 bytes. This allows the controller to send more information over Ethernet IP which allows it to talk easily with robot controllers and other larger devices. The size of any instance can be set less than its default size. By default, the Ethernet IP instance sizes are 128, 256, and 496 bytes. Certain devices require a specific instance size to transfer information. So, the size can be adjusted under the adapter settings in hardware configuration. When the MP3000 IEC series motion controllers are set up as scanner devices, they can transfer information with up to 100 Ethernet IP adapters at one time. This is useful when the motion controller is being used as a data storage or transmission hub. Looking at Modbus TCP, function codes 2 and 5 can transfer up to 512 inputs and coils, or function codes 3, 4, 6, and 16 can transfer and store up to 10,000 bytes of data. This allows more data to be stored and transferred between multiple devices, thus allowing for bigger and more complex applications. Modbus data area sizes can be seen in the global variables worksheet after the motion controller is set to be a Modbus TCP slave and hardware configuration. An option is available in hardware configuration, which allows the Modbus holding register data to be stored in the %m memory area on the MP3000 IEC series controllers. Using the %m memory for the holding registers allows any of the network devices to read from and write to the same memory address, which allows less memory to be used to hold the requested data. For example, let's say that we have a HMI for a Modbus TCP master and an MP3000 IEC series controller for the Modbus TCP slave. The HMI puts data into the Modbus holding register via %i memory. The application code then uses the data in that %i register. If the HMI wants to see what the holding register value is, it would have to duplicate the %i holding register value in the application code and put it into a %q holding register, which can then be read by the HMI. When %m memory is used, the holding register is bidirectional so the HMI can write to it and read from it. The application code does not need to duplicate the value for the HMI to see what value it had written. This %m selection is found in hardware configuration under Modbus TCP. When sending data over a network, there is a possibility that it could be interpreted incorrectly because of processor NDNS. The MP3000 IC series controllers use a big Endian processor. So what is big and little Endian, and why does it affect network data? 
Endian format deals with how information is sent between two devices. A little Endian processor sends the least significant byte first and ends with the most significant byte, where a big Endian processor sends the most significant byte of information first and ends with the least significant byte. In this case, the data being sent from one device needs to be manipulated so that it transmits correctly to the second device. There are two functions that can be used to perform this manipulation. The too little endian and too big endian type conversion functions. These functions are commonly needed when sending structures or arrays between devices. For example, I have an MP3300 IAC controller, which has a big endian processor, communicating with an MP2300S IAC controller, which has a little endian processor, over Ethernet IP. The MP2300S IC controller signifies any little endian processing device, like an HMI or third-party PLC. I just used an MP2300S IC controller for simplicity. For ease of use, I've included both controllers in a multi-resource project. In this project, I am sending an array of variables from the MP3300 IC controller to the MP2300S IC controller, which in turn is relaying that information back to the MP3300 IC controller. By default, if no endian correction is used, the variable data appears mixed up in the MP2300S IC controller. In this case, when the too little endian function is used in the MP3300 IC controller, the array information appears correctly on the MP2300S IC controller. The information returned from the MP2300 SIAC controller also needs to be converted back so that it shows correctly on the MP3300 IAC controller. So, once the information is received by the MP3300 IAC controller, it needs to go through another too little onion function so that the correct data is received and used. When using Modbus, the integer data type is automatically converted at the firmware level, so the endian function blocks are not needed unless other data types are transferred. More information on NDNS can be found on yaskawa.com in the tn.mpic.02 app note. Thanks for watching this video. Go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of Motionworks IEC 3 and try out these features yourself with a 30-day demo.